Hello everyone, this is Jerry from The Chance. Welcome to our channel. Today we will share some shrimp farming knowledge. The problem of parasites and harmful bacteria such as vibrios has always been the lingering shadow of aquaculture. And it is also the direction that many farm companies have been working on many years. With the increase of breeding density and the worsening environment, the parasites have more conditions for reproduction and transmission. For a long time, the use of highly toxic drugs has promoted the parasites to rapidly mutate their genes, making many farms faced with parasites even more helpless. So what other problem, problems can a bad environment bring? Another problem brought about by a bad environment is the growth of harmful bacteria. The increase in the number of harmful flora in the water increases the fry resources and the chances of seedlings becoming carriers of vibra. The survival of shrimp farming is more and more difficult and the primary problem caused by harmful bacteria represented by vibra is the infection of animal tissue and organs with the gut as a core. Moreover, under certain conditions, harmful flora can cause a large number of deaths in farmed animals. You mentioned the problem of vibrio. Yes, this is indeed a major problem in shrimp farming. I believe that many farmers have encountered many problems. What is your understanding of Vibrio? Next, we will introduce Vibrio to you. Let everyone know about Vibrio and better control Vibrio. How do we prevent and control Vibrio? Let me introduce plan for Vibrio prevention and control. Firstly, Vibrio control in winter. Do a good job in water quality management to maintain stable water quality and uh, sufficient dissolved uh, oxygen. Regular use sulfur, um, potassium ferrite and other oxidative bottom modification to improve the bottom quality. Regularly supplement beneficial bacteria to reduce the number of vibrio by taking advantage of the occupation effect of beneficial bacteria. Regular disinfection, sprinkle compound alden, antibacterial peptides, highly content of sulfur and other products to reduce the content of vibrio. Note, do not disinfect repeatedly. The shrimp is more irritating and the bacteria should be replaced in time after this infection. Vibrio control in shrimp focus on the prevention and the control of vibrio in the liver transformation stage bioassays 3 to 5 gram per kilogram feed. Eucabiotics 1 to 2 gram per kilogram feed once a day and the long term long term use in the liver transformation stage about 40 days after seedling seedling placement oral administration of beneficial bacteria with regular ingredients to adjust intestinal flora and inhibit the reproduction of vibrio Pay attention to the integrated prevention and the control of the liver and the intestines. And take bioassays orally 3 to 5 grams per kilogram feet on a regular basis. Oral administration of eucalyptus 4 to 5 grams per kilogram feet on a regular basis can inhibit the production of ribrio in the body regulate the intestine tract and promote the rapid heart 
shelling of shrimp. The above is a vibro control plan designed by our aquaculture experts and technical team. If you are interested in, the, in this plan, please contact us. Thank you. Okay, that's all for today's vibro farming knowledge. And if you want to know more information about shrimp farming, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.